Look at that. Goggles, goggles included. Look, my Mark 9 replica goggles. Uh, lovely bit of kit. I love these fly screens. I, I actually adore the car. I think it's the colour scheme is is impeccable. Right? Super light and dark grey. It goes together absolutely beautifully. Um, the gentleman rang me up some time ago. He said, I don't know where to put it, where to place it, what to do with it, how to value it, all this, that and the other. It's a special, it's a TA special. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but tell you what, it's my cup of tea. Yeah, I certainly think it's mine as well. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. I really, really do like the car. Um, it's been done tastefully, beautifully. The bodywork is lovely. The paint job's really, really good. It doesn't want painting. Engine bay is is just superb. There it is. Looking at you, it's um, all in all, it is such a lovely, usable car. It does sound so sweet, you know. Oh, I bet it oh, does. Sounds yeah. lovely. Well, I mean, we we all love T Series MGs, but. Let's be fair, recently the market has gone down the swanee, there's no question about it. They've followed the pre-war cars, saloons if you like, that are not wanted anymore. They're, they're just, the, the, the old guys have gone. We know all this, don't want to go over old ground all the time, but it's a fact of life. But then every now and again you get an exceptional pre-war car in exceptional condition that realises the sort of money it should. And this is in that class. This, this is, don't confuse this with an, an average Viable MG, TA, TC, TD, TF, whatever you want to call it. This is an exceptional bit of kit. I, I'm really impressed with this car. The panel fit is excellent. They're nice and straight panels. Um, I don't think there's anything on it that you can actually knock. I, 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 I don't think there's one single thing on this car that you can really say, oh, pity about that, pity about this or whatever. You can crib it. You, you, you actually can't crib it. It, it. Everywhere you look is absolutely lovely. And I think... The gentleman, I've only spoken to him on the phone, um, uh, and of course we went around and picked the car up, but I didn't do it personally. But I just think he's, he's underestimating the car. I, I think um, I think there's more people, um, that, that there's more people, uh, there's more interest will be shown uh, on this car than he imagines. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. I like specials. There's something about specials. They're individual, and um, even even the so-called in brackets kit cars that we have come in. I despise that name kit car because a lot of work goes into building a car, you know, and until you've actually done it, don't knock people that do it and don't knock their product and by calling it kit cars and all that sort of thing and looking down on it because there's a lot of work goes into it and there's a lot of work gone into converting this car and it's got my total respect for this car and my, certainly my respect to whoever done it. So do yourself a favour guys, come and have a look at this car, don't underestimate this car, it's a lovely piece of kit, you'll be so impressed when you see it.